I'm Rachel Nugent, and I'm Deputy Director for Global Health at the Center for Global Development. CGD is launching a new initiative called Demographics for Development. It's about population. Population is an issue that seemed to be very important 30 and 40 years ago. We used to hear about the population bomb, the population explosion. It was in the headlines. There were conferences, papers. Population seemed very important then. And the way that it was looked at was too many people were going to overconsume the world's resources and we would enter some kind of neo-Malthusian death spiral where we couldn't survive because of overpopulation. That didn't happen. Does that mean that population is no longer important? Population is still important and a number of things have changed to make it more important for development and the prospects for development of the poorest countries in the world today. I'll tell you why and I'll tell you what CGD is going to do in this new initiative to better understand those issues and how development policymakers can look at population and improve their prospects for better development. Population is very simple. It's all about how many people there are and where they are and how those two things change. Population growth or decline, location decisions, emigration, urbanization, that's population and that's what we're going to be looking at in this new initiative. Why should this affect development? Well, if there are more people, there are fewer, uh, there are more mouths to feed and fewer resources to go around for each person. This is one of the issues we're going to look at very carefully in our initiative because poverty is still the overriding issue in developing countries today and increased population growth does make it very difficult to climb out of poverty. The population now is about six and a half billion people in the world. Up to the year 2050, it's going to continue growing and reach 9 to 11 billion people in the world. 90% of that growth is going to be in developing countries and 99% in the poorest countries of the world. This makes it very hard for them to climb out of poverty and to increase the per capita GDP that they need to be able to make investments in other development needs. That's one issue we'll be dealing with very seriously. What are some of the other issues that development uh, policymakers need to be concerned about that come from population change. Among them are aging. Uh, we're going to have more old people, we already have more old people in the world than young people for the first time ever and that's not going to change. And in developing countries, how to address the needs of the elderly population such as health care, such as social security, at the same time that they're still trying to make those investments in education and in infrastructure is going to be a big challenge. And we need to be looking at those challenges and figuring out how to balance the needs of the population in developing countries as they pursue a development path. Another issue that we're going to look at in this population series is infrastructure. How do you make the infrastructure needs match the population? Population is aging, it's urbanizing. For the first time ever, we have more urban people in the world than rural people, and that means very different infrastructure needs. Again, development policymakers need to be taking this population urbanization and, and other population changes into account in order to be able to meet their development goals. Another big population issue that we'll address in our initiative is climate change. How does population change affect climate? Well, increased numbers of people means increased emissions, greater contributions to climate change. That in itself is a very serious concern. Add to that that some of the people are in very vulnerable locations, in coastal areas, in rural areas, where they're dependent on agriculture that is going to be adversely affected by climate change. And this is something that development policymakers also need to be taking into account. How can we use population as a tool to mitigate the effects of climate change? And how can we use population, uh, try to reduce population in places where it's still growing fast to lower the contribution to climate change? These are some of the uh, key issues that we're going to be trying to address in our new initiative. We're going to begin on September 23rd with a lecture on global demographic trends from Professor Joe Cohen of Rockefeller University along with Peter Timmer, a senior fellow at CGD. And we're going to continue for the next year with five more lectures on different aspects of demographics and how they affect development. These are all public and we hope you'll join us.